Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to another doll ranking video. Today we're going to be finishing out my series ranking all of the Ever After High Dolls, which is very exciting to finally be done with it. It is one part longer than I thought it would be, so I originally thought it was going to be three parts. Those three parts have come and gone, and now we are on part four, but this is actually the final part. So if you haven't seen the other parts in the series, it might be a good idea to go back and check those out just because you're going to be missing some context if you haven't seen those thus far. I do think this video might be a little bit shorter just because a lot of the dolls, spoiler alert, are kind of rough. So I feel like I might not have as much to talk about. So hopefully this will be like a pretty easy video to get through. As always, the opinions that I talk about are just my opinions. And I am coming at this from the perspective of never having watched the Ever After High show. And I also wasn't into the dolls when they first came out. So that's kind of the background there. Um, but yeah, if you guys do find yourself enjoying the ranking as we go through, if you could give the video a like, that's super helpful to me. And then if you're new here and you enjoy your time, definitely subscribe so you can see more. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead and get started on the ranking. Alrighty, so I am using Procreate just like I do for all of my rankings, and then as a refresher, the tiers that I've been using for the Ever After High doll ranking um, are Queen, Princess, Lord, Commoner, Peasant, and then Banished, because I thought it would be fun to be a little bit thematic. And then another refresher here, so this is what part one of the ranking looked like. Pretty even spread, pretty positive, and then part two added on to that, and this is what we were looking like, so still fairly even, just like... A little bit less positive and then I didn't have any room to continue using like the exact same so then we got on to part three which looked like this and there were a lot of dolls that went into banished because there were a lot of dolls that I thought were pretty ugly <laughs> so we are gonna keep building off of this I hope I have enough room in banished <laughs> we are gonna go ahead and do part four on the same layer as part three and we are gonna be starting off with a couple of the ballet budget dolls so we have Apple and then we have Briar both of whom look terrible um there's not a lot of distinction amongst the budget ballet dolls between different characters aside from like the colors but they all have a pretty similar mold and outfit and everything so like there's not a lot of different things to say about them. Obviously, I can't stand the molded on tops. I think that the skirts are pretty boring. And I, in the last video, in part three, I didn't love the molded on like leggings that we were getting with some of the dolls, but at least at that point, we had shoes that could be removable. Not anymore for the ballet dolls. The shoes are molded right onto their feet, and I just hate it so much. Like. The only non-plastic things on these dolls are a teensy little skirt and their hair, and that's it. They're just so boring and so low quality and terrible, so it's no surprise that they are going into Banished. Then we have Holly and then also Ashlyn from the Budget Ballet line, who you can see what I was saying. They look pretty much identical to Apple and Briar except for the color schemes. Other than the colors, there's really no differentiation for their characters or nothing that's like particularly thematic to them. They do have slightly different like sculpts on the bust, but it's it's not a lot, you know? It's not enough to give them personality. So I really don't have anything to say other than they're also banished. And then the last of the ballet budget is Raven, who I honestly think is the worst. I talked about this a little bit in the last part, but with the Ever After High reboot, I do think that the difference between the old and new faces was less dramatic than we saw with the Monster High reboot, just because Ever After High is based on fairy tales, so like a more cutesy look isn't as dissonant with them. But I do think that Raven looks really terrible, mostly because in some of her, she's got this molded smile. Like, it's not just her mouth is painted and, like, her eyes look a little sweeter. She's got the molded on smile that I just feel doesn't work at all with her edgy aesthetic. But also, I feel like she doesn't really get many dolls that actually look edgy. So, maybe I'm complaining for nothing, but... Regardless, she's ugly, so <laughs> she's going and vanished. Next up we have Magical Fashion Ashlyn. This is like a transforming doll. So it does look like she has a molded on top and then another plastic top that you could put on top of that to like change outfits. It doesn't really count as changing outfits to me. And then it looks like the metallic piece of her skirt could be bunched up via some sort of mechanism so that she then looks like she has a short skirt. I think that transforming gimmicks are very hard to do right on dolls because a lot of the time they do end up looking a little bit silly, but I can't even focus on that just because I think that the design itself is not good. Uh, the fabric of the short skirt is fine. I think that in a different Ashland doll that could have been really cute, but it's not enough to save her. 
so she's going to be in Banished. I'm literally going to run out of room in Banished. Okay, actually though, next up we have a good one. This is Spellbinding Raven. Pretty solid. Pretty solid. I'm going to have something that I need to talk about a little bit later <laughs> that I'll be like referencing this doll, so keep this image in your head. But I do like this. I think that the huge like feather array behind her, I'm not sure how that's attached, but I think that's really cool. The collar and the crown are awesome. I love the patterns on her clothing in this one. I think this is really, really good. I still just don't love Raven's faces, whether they are reboot or the original. I, I just don't love the way they look. Um, but I do like her intense, like, aqua eyeshadow. I think that's pretty fun. She's not good enough to go into Queen for me, but she is going to go into Princess. So that's pretty solid. Then we are on to the Archery Club dolls. So the first one is Archery Club Ashlyn. And I want to like this. <laughs> I like the idea of archery dolls. I did archery for, like, a very brief period of time in high school. And the little bit of time that I did it, I liked it. Um, so I want to like this. I think the bow and arrow is fine. I hate the molded on leggings. The shoes are kind of boring. I do actually really like the print for the dress. I'm very sad that you can see that it doesn't continue on to the back, but I think that is beautiful fabric. The doll herself just looks a little bit boring. Like the hairstyle is pretty basic. There's not really any fun makeup. It looks unfinished and a little bit budget to me, not as bad as some of the other ones, but it doesn't look finished. I'm going to be generous and give her a peasant ranking. Uh, then we have Bunny from the same line, who I like a lot less. I just in general have liked Ashlyn's dolls more than I liked Bunny's dolls, so that's probably part of the reason why. I like the color scheme a lot less. I like the fabric on the dress a lot less. In fact, I don't like it at all. <laughs> so really, like, I don't like anything except maybe the mold of her shoes. But that's not enough, so she's going to be in Banished. I, I literally am going to run out of room. We're going to have to start overlapping. <laughs> okay, Rosabella from the Archery Club line. Again, historically, I have not liked the Rosabella beauty dolls, so she's already at a disadvantage. The only thing that I kind of like is the shoes. I think that's a really cool color, and I don't know if they are different cut or if it's just because of the angle that we're looking at the two shoes that make it look like they're different. But I do think they're cool. I think that these shoes would have been awesome on a Cupid, like, earlier on in Ever After High's releases. But I don't like them on Rosabella, and I don't like anything else about this doll. So she's also banished. Uh, then we have Magic Arrow Raven. I hate that this is technically a Raven doll. Like, again, that smile just does not work. I also think the shorter hair styled like this is giving her a much sweeter look than I think is appropriate for Raven. We've still got the molded on leggings, which is atrocious. I don't like this thicker bow. I, it looks like it might be, I don't want to say functional because like that's stretching it, but it looks like there is some sort of mechanism there for play, which is cool, I guess, but it doesn't look as good in my opinion. That being said, um, she does have a molded on top too. Ugh, that's pretty bad. The only thing saving her is this amazing cape. I love this. Both of the fabrics, front and back, look so cool. And it just makes me so sad because it's such an interesting fabric that I feel like if we could have gotten this on a deluxe doll that had a lot of budget, so therefore there's like a lot of quality that can be put into her, that could be an amazing piece. And I feel like it's wasted on this doll. Um, but literally the cape alone is going to bring her up to peasant ranking. So that tells you how much I like that cape. All right. <laughs> Then we're on the Powerful Princess Club. I don't get the reference, but it's a little cringy to me. I don't know. Maybe I'm just being mean. Maybe I'm just getting really cynical at this point in my Ever After High rankings. I do think that the skirt could be worse. I don't mind the shoes. I just know I'm going to zoom in really far and she's very pixelated, but it doesn't even matter. I know Apple White can look like that. So how can you expect me to be okay with this? <laughs> like, I don't know how to, how to cope with this. <laughs> I understand it's not as bad as some of the other ones we've been looking at, but I do think it's an insult to Apple White's better dolls. I'm going to be nice though and give her a peasant ranking. Then we have Holly from the Powerful Princess Club. I actually really don't mind this, oddly enough. Um, 
I like the fabric that they chose for the underlayer of her dress. The top layer is a bit plain, but it looks like softer. Like the quality of the fabric, at least in appearance, looks a little bit higher than some of the other ones we've been seeing. She's got some painted detail on her like neck accessory. This one really isn't bad, which is funny because like I haven't liked the O'Hare twins really almost at all in these rankings. But I'm going to give it to her. She gets to go all the way up to commoner. Next up is Maddie, who again, I don't think is terrible. We've got a few different fabrics here, a few different layers, which like <laughs> is something to celebrate at this point. <laughs> I don't think that her face looks terrible. I like the purse, actually. That's a surprising amount of painted detail on this purse. I'm kind of shocked, but yeah, I, I think this is pretty solid. Uh, I'm going to pop her up into Lord. All right, then we have two tea party dolls. We've got Darling and then Maddie, both of whom I don't like. We're back to the molded on tops and like the weird little poof skirts. I think it's funny how you can see that on the budget dolls, like there's so much shorter hair <laughs> because like obviously they're trying to save money on like the length of the hair. But I just don't always think it looks good. I think Maddie's looks okay. I don't like it on Darling. I think if you style it right, it could be great, but I just, I don't like that one for her. Neither of these is super, and they're both going and banished. And I am one doll away from being out of room. Oh, God. Okay, Tea Party Raven. Too sweet. I don't mind the fabric on her skirt, but too simple, too molded on, too icky, banished. Do I need to make, like, a banished part two? Is this going to be the first time I expand my screen? Oh, I don't know. We have Back to School, Holly, and then Blondie. Blondie's on the left, Holly's on the right. Sorry, I said those kind of out of order. Uh, the Blondie I don't think is terrible. I like the fabric of her dress. The cut's a little boring. She looks a little bit unfinished. But overall, she's not really offensive to me. So that's something. Uh, let's put her in Peasant. Holly has some detail, which is good to see, but also I hate this outfit. I don't think that this weird little mesh bit is super flattering. I don't really love the prints. I hate like the little tie thing that's going on underneath here. Yeah, she's pretty bad. Um, I think I'm just going to try overlapping and hoping that that works. <laughs> I don't know how far I'm going to get with that. But for now, we're just going to overlap her over here in Banished. Then we have Cupid and Darling from the same line. Cupid I don't think is terrible. Um, the fabric's okay. It's not super. But I do like her wings on this rendition. I do miss having like the more detailed, like the painted detail in Cupid's wings that we had in her early releases. But I like the iridescence that we've got going on here. I think that's pretty cute. Darling, I hate. It's so bad. Like, I don't even know what to say because it's so bad. So I think we're going to go ahead and put Cupid into Peasant. And then we're going to put Darling firmly into Banished. Super. <laughs> uh, then we have Michelle and Maddie. I said it backwards again. I'm sorry. Maddie on the left and Michelle on the right. Um, same line, back to school. I hate both of them. I Like, there's some detail, so I feel like I should be being more generous but I hate both of them. And at this point, I truly have run out of room. So I am going to extend this for the first time ever in any of my ranking videos. I've done so many of these. I'm going to extend the bottom layer <laughs> and we're gonna have two layers of banished. So give me one second. Okay, it doesn't look perfect because this was a bit of a rush job trying to get this in here, <laughs> but I did move the ones that were overlapping down a row. So now we have a whole second row of banished. We can banish so many more dolls. Which is good, because the next two coming up, I hate. <laughs> so, okay, the one on the right is actually one we've seen before. We don't have to rank her again. But I brought this up because the back-to-school apple on the left is wearing almost exactly the same outfit as I think this was the school spirit apple that was released before. The shoes have a different paint job, and the shirt is a different color. And, like, the tool at the bottom of the skirt is different. But this is the same outfit. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just funny to me because I hated the first one and then to reuse it is like you're reusing a terrible outfit at least for me um so it was kind of comical I just wanted to have this one over here so that we could talk about the fact that that was really funny 
but she doesn't need to be here. And then um, back to school, Apple needs to go and banish because I'm literally banishing that outfit for the second time. Oh my God. Okay. This next line, the sheer audacity. This is another one that I have like a comparison for because this is called throne coming to that's the name of this line. So the first one that we're going to be looking at is I think Ashlyn. Ashlyn didn't have a doll from the first throne coming line. So I put Apple up to compare because this is throne coming Apple from the real throne coming. Okay. This is a beautiful, perfect doll. I ranked her in queen in I think part one was when we saw her. She looks amazing. Okay. Everything about this is immaculate. The audacity to release this nonsense as Throne Coming 2? To give it the same name as this beautiful line? All of the dolls in Throne Coming 1 looked like this. Like, they were all stunning. I, I'm mad. Like, I'm offended. I can't believe... I understand that, like, Ever After High was, like, losing budget at this point, presumably. Like, they're producing worse dolls in general. Call it something else. Don't insult the name of Throne Coming by putting this trash under that label. I, like, I'm genuinely so upset. So we're going to get rid of Throne Coming Apple here because I've already ranked her perfectly and she does not have to share screen time anymore with this nonsense. I'm trying to choose my words so carefully because, like, I try to be family friendly on this channel. This genuinely made me upset enough to where I'm, like, almost cursing. <laughs> uh, she's going to be banished. I have nothing else to say about her. <laughs> Then we also have Briar and Maddie from the Throne Coming 2 line. They all have like the same cut of dress, basically. None of them look good, and absolutely none of them deserve to have even the echo of the Throne Coming name. Like, I'm so, I'm so upset about that. I'm getting hoarse because I'm upset about this. But it's okay, okay. I can move on from that at least. We're not moving on necessarily in like a great direction just yet, but... Oh, I can move on from... Throne coming too. Stupid. Uh, this is Sweet Treats, Bunny Blanc, and then Holly. I've gone over this so many times on my channel, but also a few times within the course of ranking in the Ever After High dolls that I just don't really gravitate towards sweets themed dolls. So they're already at a disadvantage. And I do think that even compared to some of the other sweets themed dolls we've seen from Ever After High, these aren't that great. Plus, I'm just already in a bad mood from Throne Coming, so they're going in Vanished. Okay, then we have Maddie and Apple, same line, same thoughts. Like, I guess it's good that they got fabric tops instead of molded on plastic tops, but they look like garbage. <laughs> I really might just be still angry about the throne coming. Like, I might be bitter right now. And maybe that's not fair, but it doesn't matter because y'all came here to watch me rank dolls. And I've been warning you since part one that it was going to get rough at some point. So, like, this is my ranking and I'm going to be mean today. <laughs> Then we have Darling and Raven. It's fortuitous that these two got grouped together. That was an accident, but it's it's a good thing because I think it's really appropriate to show off the two worst ones from this line together. Here's the thing. Darling and her best dolls and like the dolls that I consider her real dolls. <laughs> she's wearing armor usually. Like she's got some sort of armor. I don't know much about the Ever After High show. Like I've heard it's amazing, but I don't really know anything about Darling's character. But presumably from the fact that she had armor in her first, like, couple of dolls, she's kind of tough. Like, like she's not super sweet and soft, necessarily. At least that's kind of what I'm getting. So this feels like an insult. And then Raven. <laughs> Remember how edgy she could be? Remember how she's supposed to look? What did they do to her? She looks like a grandmother, and that's not, like, a bad thing. I think that if this were a doll of, like, a fun, quirky grandmother who likes to dye her hair purple, she'd be a perfect doll. But that's not who she is. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm so glad this is almost over. I can't take much more. <laughs> They're banished. They're also going to be the last ones to be banished, thankfully, because we're ending out the video on the SDCC exclusive dolls from Ever After High. Also an accident, they just have to be last on the list that I'm using as like a database for all of these. But I'm really glad that they ended on this because that means that I can end on a better note. <laughs> so first of all, we're going to look at SDCC Raven, who I do think looks amazing. This is where, I don't even remember her name, Spellbinding? I don't know. Uh, this Raven comes in. Even super pixelated, you can see the similarities, right? So 
Yes, the SDCC doll looks amazing. She feels like an elevated version of the Spellbinding doll. And maybe that was the intention. Truthfully, I don't know. Because again, I wasn't like part of the Ever After High fandom. I'm still not super knowledgeable about it. I'm just judging the designs of these dolls. So maybe the point was to make a better Spellbinding Raven. But as an outsider who doesn't know anything about it, it's kind of like, well, it's basically the same design, just like upscaled a little bit. It's still amazing. And she is going to go into Queen. But I just wanted to say that. because I don't know. I like to complain sometimes. Okay, that up next is the SDCC Cedar. SDCC. Did I say three C's or two C's? It doesn't matter. Cedar. <laughs> I like the idea of this. I think it's very creative. I love the puppet strings and like, I don't know what you call the top bit, but the little puppeteer thing where someone could control her. I think that that's very interesting. She got more of like a puppet-esque mouth mold where it's kind of open like a puppet's mouth would be. And I think that's really cool. Her whole outfit is really awesome. I love all of the details and layers and stuff that we got in this. I feel like we didn't see a lot of cedar dolls that had dark color schemes, but I actually think it really works for her. I still hate the socks. These are very similar to the socks that we had on her core doll back in, I think, part one. I just think they're weird and ugly. <laughs> and I, I do think that, like, the whole Pinocchio puppet thing is less up my alley than other dolls. She is still amazing, don't get me wrong. She's going to go into Princess, because personally I don't love her, but... I absolutely get it, and I think it was a good design. And then we are ending on SDCC Cerise, who looks phenomenal. If I had the funds to go buy this doll, I probably would, but, like, she's a little expensive, and I, I can't do that. <laughs> I love her. I think she looks amazing. The makeup is so fun. The outfit is really great. The furred cloak is just so good with the wolf head on top. Everything about this looks perfect. It's so beautiful. So I'm very happy that we get to end out by putting another one into Queen. So that is going to be it for the Ever After High rankings overall. We reached the end. <laughs> Obviously, it got worse. Like I said, I've been warning y'all since part one that it was going to get bad. This is the first time I have ever had to make a like second layer to a tier. And of course it was the bottom tier. I just think that a lot of the later Ever After High dolls really suffered from budget cuts and it shows. It sadly really, really shows. So this is kind of a rough way to end the series, but at least we still have a couple that made it up to Queen. <laughs> So yes, guys, that is going to be it for today. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below about these dolls. And also, like, now that we're done with the series, how do you feel about my ranking overall? I would just love to talk about it with you guys. I hope you were able to enjoy the video. I do have, as always, links in my description for my other social medias. I've got Instagram and then TikTok. And I also have an Amazon wish list down there. So if you want to support me in other ways, you could check out those things. But yes, that is it for today. I hope you guys have a lovely rest of your day or your night or whatever it might be. And I will catch you in the next one. Bye, guys.